hello everybody. As a special treat for the NHS's 75th anniversary, our birthday, I'm recording this just a little bit earlier than usual here at Great Oaks in Scunthorpe. In fact, this morning with some of the night staff and day team coming on, we've actually planted the first oak at Great Oaks because Ian Higgins, whose team have done a wonderful job putting all of our celebrations together, uh, tells us there aren't actually any oaks uh, on the site here in Scunthorpe. It was all a bit of a misnomer with a sycamore tree. So um, hopefully we've righted that wrong and also uh, landed something that's really about the enduring capacity of the NHS to make a difference in our country. And birthdays, I think, are partly about looking forward, aren't they? So there's a real sense for me this morning of what the NHS is, what we do, but also what the future holds uh, and on the screen now if you want to be part of building that future uh, there's a program where we support people across the health service to go and talk in schools about all the many careers and the range of things that the nhs does and hopefully inspire a new generation to think big about what the nhs could mean to them uh, for their future if you've had a look at the nhs long-term workforce plan one of the things you may notice certainly i did was the real emphasis on lots and lots of different roles, what we might call new roles, coming into the workforce and into the workplace. And I remember uh, talking just a few weeks ago to several hundred people across South Yorkshire, including many people from Ardash, who are in exactly those roles. So I just wanted to acknowledge, really, we've now got a national plan that names all of those many roles as part of the future of the NHS. I know yeah, if you read the the news media, it, it, it seems it's a doctors, nurses and sometimes pen pushers conversation. But but we know, don't we, the NHS relies on all sorts of folk in all sorts of uh, types of work. Important that the National Workforce Plan recognises that. Important too, that as we expand and develop our workforce, we're thoughtful about the sorts of roles that we want to develop. Um, encouraging us to think differently. One of the things that will be front and centre in our strategy later in the summer uh, is the, the bringing into most of our departments and teams a, a much more structured sense of uh, peer support workers, uh, of people who might consider themselves to be service users or people with lived experience working within our teams. Now, again, I know we have a lot of that in the organisation. Really what our strategy is going to be saying over the next five years is, yeah, let's give that a little bit more push. Let's give that a little bit more shove. Let's make that absolutely routine, standard, normal, but still special in the way in which we work. Now, I do know there's a lot of change. I know there are some uh, challenges in the workplace at the moment. If you're one of our bank team, uh, I know a number of you have been in touch about national policy over paying conditions. Obviously, some of our medical colleagues uh, may be moving towards another round of, uh, of strikes. So just want to acknowledge the difficulty uh, as well as the things that we have uh, to celebrate. Um, we do have, of course, the, the regular national pulse checks to see how people are feeling, get a sense of how motivated or, or demotivated you are. And the details of how to contribute to that very brief uh, flash survey are on the screen now. Sometimes it feels like we're always being asked, how we feel and it is okay sometimes to say I'm not feeling great or I'm a bit fed up about this or I'm, I, I really want some difference made to this thing that's bothering me so I would really encourage you not only to engage in that survey but also to think about where you go to get help and support how you make your voice heard in our organisation because categorically we absolutely do want to hear from you and most importantly to respond to you. You've still got a chance to come to the last couple of open staff meetings that we're doing this summer, we'll be back around in the autumn doing some more listening. I just want to pay tribute to people who've come to those meetings, shared their views, their ideas, their frustrations. It really does make a difference and we'll be uh, taking action on many of the things that we heard in those meetings. Let, let's end where I began, celebrating the NHS of 75. Let's be clear, that's celebrating you. So thank you for what you do. Cheers. Cheers.